super easy cone flowers and bees. Let's go. To start off, they're in the shape, kind of like an umbrella or maybe a fried egg on top of an umbrella. <laughs> and then um, after the sketch, lighten them up with your eraser. Once you have paint on top of them, you won't be able to erase. And then put in eight to 10 little dots of magenta or whatever color you want your coneflower petals to be. After you put in your little dots, you'll rinse off your brush and using just water, make the shape of the petals. The paint will follow the water that you're putting down on the paper and it creates a really pretty wet on wet flowy effect. Every once in a while, make sure to touch your petals to each other for that loose watercolor floral look. You don't have to rinse out your brush between every petal, but once the color is just a little bit too dark and you want more of that dark to light effect, go ahead and rinse out your brush to start the next petal. You want to make sure to touch the petals every once in a while and bring out the color to the very tip of them. The next step is to use violet or purple for the first, um, the first part of the inside of the cone, the interior part of the flower, and then red. So it went from a bluish purple to a uh, magenta. And then after the magenta, a cadmium red red, which is just um, maybe more when you think of the color red, that color red. And then yellow at the very top, the very last um, layer to the cone of the cone flower is the yellow. And this gives it a glowy um, sunlit effect. For the stems, I'm using a combination of emerald green and a little bit of burnt umber. You can use whatever green you want. After putting down the initial layer I'm adding in a little bit more of a darker color while it is still wet to give it the look of the sunlight hitting part of it and it being a little bit darker underneath the flowers. For the bees they are intimidating at first but after a little bit of practice you can see that they are just three puddles of yellow especially the big fat fuzzy bees that are so cute. And then after you put in your three areas of yellow with the area by the head being a little bit thinner, the area in the middle being the thickest, and then the area in the very back, their little fuzzy bottoms being just a little bit smaller, you, you can use a black or a gray or a mix just so that it gives you that um, feel of that black color it could be a mix of blue and brown together. It could be just the black right from your palette. And you're just filling in those spaces in between them and then adding little tiny legs. <laughs> they don't have to look any particular way, just so that they give you the look of the bees. Um, the little tiny antenna at the top are pretty easy to draw in. And then you have the wings, which... Um, the hardest part for me with the wings is making sure that they were light enough. So I did use a paper towel and I picked back up a little bit of that color. A Payne's gray, a wash of it where you water it down would be perfect for it. For the base of the bees or the underside of them, I added a little bit of orange to give them more of a 3D effect. And then I added in the second wing for the second bee. And there you have it, a finished coneflower and bee sketchbook painting.